Hi, welcome to my channel. In the previous videos, we discussed about the definition of machine learning and some of the applications of the machine learning. In this video, we are going to see how the machine learning is working. So, for any machine learning working, machine learning, we require the data. Data is very very important. So, the data is in the form of features and corresponding class label. The data contains the features and the corresponding class label. Okay. So, it is in the form of a, is a like table. Okay. Now, it contains a set of rows and columns are there. Here, it contains, these are called as a features and the corresponding, uh, the, these are called a X features and uh, the corresponding target variable. Now, it contains n number of rows are there. Each and every row is called as a instance. Instance. Now, <coughs> now we are going to divide the data into two parts. Seventy percent of data is the entire data set is divided for, uh, given for the training purpose, and remaining thirty percent is going to given for the testing purpose. Now, for the given the uh, training data set, here it contains the seventy percent of given data in data. So the data is once again contains features and corresponding class level. Now the features are represented in the form of a X and corresponding Y. Y is nothing but a corresponding class level. Now we are developing a model, mathematical model function X implies Y. So here each and every corresponding instance of a, uh, instance of a um, training data is mapped with a corresponding class label. So based on the um, information, based on this feature, are going, we are going to develop a, our model. Now, <coughs> for the model evaluation, we are going to, um, um, the test data is uh, divided into two parts once again, that is uh, features and uh, features and uh, class label, that is target label. Now, if for the model evaluation, we are going to give the only features, based on the features, where our model is going to evaluate the corresponding class label, that is a class label. So this is simply described as a machine learning. So now based on the original actual class label, we are finding the corresponding predicted class label. So now based on this uh, actual values and predicted values, we can find out the performance of the our model. So here the performance models uh, contain different uh, parameters are there. So Accuracy, precision, recall. These are the different two parameters are there. Based on these parameters, we can find out the performance of our model. Now we'll see one example um, with one example. For example, Iris data set is there. Iris data set is one, one type of standard data set. It contains Iris data set. Okay. Now it contains one um, four four features are there, four features are there, sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width, sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width and corresponding class label. So here it contains uh, 150 rows, so that can be prepared in the form of a 0 to 149, it contains 150 instances, 150 instant instances. So like that, it contains the 150 instances are there. Now based on the these features, yes, um, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width are called as simply features of the um, features of the Iris data set features. It is put in the form of a X, and the class labels are in the form of a Y. The target uh, target label target variable are simply called as a uh, class label. Now here the class labels are uh, like Setosa, Versicola and Virginica. Here the three types of class labels are there. Now here the 150 rows instances are divided, uh, equally distributed. 50, 50 rows, 50 instances are belonging to Setosa, 50 instances are Versicola and 50 instances are belonging to Virginica like that. So, totally it contains a 150 rows, 150 instances. 
so this is simply it is called as a uh, data set irish data set now this irish data set is divided into two parts one is for the training and and second one is for the testing training and testing so for the training purpose we are dividing we are, we are randomly um, selecting the equal equally randomly selecting the um, 70 percent of data for the given for the training purpose and the remaining 30 percent is given for the testing purpose okay now for the training purpose we are giving the 35 rows 35 instances of setosa 35 instances of versinica and 35 instances of versicolor for the training purpose it contains all the features of sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and corresponding class labels okay corresponding class label so here this is called as a features and corresponding class label is called as a um, target variable now so here we are, develop, we are going to give the developing one model that is a function mathematical function that maps the corresponding features with the corresponding class label so based on this information our model is going to train okay based on the sepal length sepal width petal length and corresponding petal width so now we are going to find out the corresponding um, corresponding class label so this is simply it is called as a model development model development we develop a one model now for this model we are going to give the now the test data contains the test data contains um, 45 instances of sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and corresponding class labels so this class label is called as a y actual value y the actual value these are the original values of the corresponding target variable of the this test data okay now for the model we are, for our model we are going the, for our model we are going to give the predict the uh, give the only the features of the 45 rows instances 45 instances okay now the model is going to predict the 45 target variables target variables now these are called as a predicted variables predicted variables so simply it is called as a y predicted y predicted now we are comparing the uh, now we are in order to find out the performance of model we are comparing the um, the performance of um, the actual values with the y actual values with the corresponding predicted values so this can be done by using the performance model is by, done by using the performance measures like the accuracy precision and recall so like that we can find out the accuracy of the um, model so this like this the machine learning is going to work thank you thank you for watching our video in the next video we are going to see the performance measures of the machine learning model thank you